The Bank of New York Mellon has thrived for 225 years thanks to the right people with the right vision. Guided by the company's values, they created an enterprise able to shape itself for the future. They all share a talent for finding opportunities for growth and prosperity. Alexander Hamilton and Andrew Mellon exemplify this. They founded a company that prospers through economic conditions and market cycles. Even during the Great Depression, they paid every dividend and made a profit in every quarter. When you look at the Bank of New York Mellon today, the impact of its past leaders is clear. They laid the foundation for the company's strength in asset management, moving away from lending and strategically expanding into fee-based businesses. Early on, they led the company's aggressive growth into securities servicing, recognizing the growing use of complex investment vehicles Finally, they drove the growth of the Bank of New York Mellon's powerful global presence, positioning it as a worldwide leader in asset management and security servicing. Today, Bob Kelly and Gerald Hassel continue to lay the groundwork for a successful future of helping clients achieve their goals. I do think that the growth rate for the global economy over the next certainly three to five years is going to be a little slower. But nonetheless, all the trends that were in place two years ago are still in place today. I believe that markets will continue to globalize, that investors will continue to want to invest globally. Asset management is a business that is going to grow tremendously over the next 10 years, and so is security servicing. I would expect much higher growth rate in those businesses than most financial institutions have in their businesses around the world. I am very optimistic for the future.